She's been this sort of light in the world this year. She's brought so many people together. Thank you for writing music that expresses feelings nobody else can express. It's more of like a community too. It's not even just her. It just made me feel like I wasn't alone and I wasn't crazy for feeling the way that I was feeling. We grew up together. We all went through the same things together. It's a massive stadium and it feels like you're with her one-on-one. -on -one. Friendship bracelets are a huge part of the Eras Tour. These bracelets are so important. Exchanging special handmade friendship bracelets. It all goes back to Taylor's song, You're On Your Own Kid. So my friends and I got tickets to the Eras Tour. We had about 200 bracelets made. We just couldn't stop. We really just had a good time doing it. We realized 200 bracelets was way too many for us to all bring and trade. Kim actually came up with the idea to put them on Etsy and sell them. I went to bed, woke up the next morning, and we had over 300 bracelets on order. I was just refreshing the Etsy page, and I could see the sales going up. It was like five, six, seven. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to make 200 bracelets tomorrow morning. <laughs> and then finally, like, OK, we shut it down, we shut it down. We only have to make like 50. And we're like, OK, okay we can do that. But 50 back then was so many. We weren't expecting to get much money, a couple hundred dollars at the most. This morning I ran the numbers and we're at $19,000 in sales. The Eras Tour is my Roman Empire. <laughs> I think about it all the time, every day. I hear a song, that's a great bracelet song, that's a good thing to put on a bracelet. This business definitely keeps us in touch. Two of us live in Massachusetts, the other two live in Connecticut. Now we have to meet up and trade bracelets, drop off, talk almost every single day. Keep making more songs, Taylor, so we can keep making more bracelets. I went to the Reputation Tour. That was right next to a security guard. So we struck up a conversation, and he told me about the gig that he has. A couple years later, I found some free time, so I picked up that job, ultimately to try and work a Taylor Swift concert. During a sold-out show, security guard and self-proclaimed Swifty Calvin Danker was working on the floor. I worked kind of right along the edge of her stage. After night one, I made little pieces of paper that asked the audience if they could take photos of me with Taylor Swift in the background and text it to me. She came right behind me. There were a ton of fans, and I had to look at the fans. I saw all of their faces light up when she gets near them, and it was just a sight even if I wasn't looking at her on that stage. Squeal is mom. They had me kneel up on the stage, and I see Taylor Swift is coming toward me. This has become a special moment every night at the Eras Tour. Each night, Swift picks a young fan to give that hat to during the song 22. Everything I do is handmade, and it's like a beautiful process because it's more intimate, my connection with the hats. I was already working with Taylor's wardrobe team and they approached me to do the classic fedora for the video for 22. The connection that she has with her fan in that moment, it was so emotional for me to see. It was so beautiful. Taylor has been empowered so many women with her music, and to me, be a part of that. Always I'm trying to empower women with my craftsman and be together is so beautiful to me. I always knew 
from like the moment I wanted to propose, I wanted to do it at a Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> I just never thought I would. You know, I, I was like, what are the logistics of that? How long am I willing to wait? It's a once in a lifetime type of thing. I was like, okay, I've got to figure out how to go in with the ring, one. I need to see where exactly in the lyrics I have to nail down to, you know, nail it. All I could think of is what is the line I need to go down on one neon? Two to three weeks before the actual date of the tour. Yeah, I never told you this. Um, I would play the song whenever I would go to work and whenever I would come back just to make sure, okay, this is the part that I have to kneel down. got so many different angles of the proposal. I have some of them saved as like Swifty section 326. I mean, I've never seen so much brightness and glitter around all in one spot. I've never been a part of such a supportive community like that. I just knew that when I proposed to Nick, I needed Taylor to be a part of it because she's been such a momentous, impactful person for Nick his whole life. Um, and as much as I love her too, it just felt like this is something I want Nick to remember forever. I want everything he loves to be um, a part of the experience for him. She's been there on the hardest days of my life and she's been there for the best days of my life. For her to be able to successfully relate to so many people in the way that she has, it's amazing. <laughs>